other day, a car came into one of my shops, opened the hood on it, and it was like sunshine in there. All these new parts everywhere, had a new radiator in it, had new uh, water pump, it had new hoses on it, had new thermostat and housing, all of these new parts. And guess what the customer's complaint was? Car overheats. Okay, well, why would that be? Car had been to several different shops, guy had worked on it himself, all kinds of stuff here. Well, what nobody really took the time to figure out was that there was a special air bleeding procedure to get all of the air out of the system. And no, in some cars it won't work out by itself. Remember those old time movies where they get trapped on a ship and there's this air pocket in there that just doesn't go away? Well, that's the same thing in the cooling system of a car. Now, on the radio show, we teased you on Facebook Live, we teased you about this thermostat housing and the plug in the thermostat housing. Now what that plug is there for is to bleed air out of the system. You remove it, you let the air escape, and then you put it back in. Now, here's the rub with all of this. No two cars are exactly the same, or so it seems. So you need something like All Data or Mitchell On Demand or something like that, a, a service manual of some form, to get a diagram such as we have here. This one would show us that there is a bleeder valve up here on this particular one. Now, they may be located at the front of the engine, the back of the engine. Sometimes we see them in the tops of radiators, like this radiator might have a, uh, a bleeder that would be here because uh, it traps air in it. But if you do work on the cooling system, fill it up, make sure it's full, do all of the stuff that you can think of, and yet the car intermittently overheats or overheats under certain conditions, make sure that there isn't some special bleeding procedure. Now you see, some cars will have three or four of these bleeder valves, and you have to open them in a particular sequence to get rid of the air. So you need to go to the service manual, find out if it has a special bleeding procedure, and if it does, Follow that procedure to the letter, and uh, you get rid of the air, get rid of the overheating. Very common problem these days. And if you have a question or a comment or just want a lot of great information, check us out at goss-garage.com.